This video shows how to configure object auditing using a value in UC Client Settings. Then we'll run the revision report several times. We'll move through the process of flagging records for archive and filtering out those records using options dash A and dash X. The most effective way to show how to produce revision reports is to move through the following sequence. First, we'll enable object auditing using the object underscore audit value in UC Client Settings. Then, in order to generate data in our reports, we need to make a change to an object. We'll update one of our jobs. Then, we'll run our first reports. We'll use a simple command with a dash B option for batch mode, dash C option for the client, and dash O for the output file. We'll also use dash F with the object mod extension, so as to output modified objects only. We should have a single record showing the change that we made. Then, we'll generate the same report, but with a dash A option. The report will be exactly the same, but we'll flag the record with the archive flag. We'll show what dash X option does by running the same report. The record was flagged for archive, so the dash X option should return nothing. We have one flagged record. Running a DB reorg and DB unload permanently removes the records, so we'll run those utilities. Finally, we'll run the normal report, which should be empty since our one record was flagged and subsequently removed. We update UC Client settings and add the object auditing value. Without it, the system does not log any of our changes. We created a dedicated job for the demo. We'll make a simple process change and save it. Object auditing means the change is logged. We have a split screen. At the top will run the commands, and the outputs are generated in the user's documents directory at the bottom. The first command we issue is the standard report on modified objects with the dash F option. Make sure the current user has execution privileges on the utility directory, or you'll run into permission problems. This is our command. Dash B is for batch mode, dash C is the client's. Dash O is the target location and name of the file, and Dash F puts a filter on modified objects only. The command produces the report. Let's take a look. The structure of the report is straightforward. Columns are labeled. We find one record, which is our dedicated job, with old and new labeling to show the change. We scroll down. The change we made is shown with a star symbol. It shows the script change. We scroll down. And again, the new version is shown with the change. We run the same report with the dash A option. This means we're going to flag the record for archiving. When we run DB archive, the record will be added. If we run DB reorg, we flag it for removal. The resulting report is exactly the same. Now we can run the exact same report with a dash X option. The record has been flagged, and dash X excludes flagged records. The report should be empty. We run the DB reorg followed by the DB unload. Reorg was configured with a very short cycle on object audit. It was set to zero, and we disabled the only reorg revised object audit switch. This shows a total of four object audit records, and three will be reorgs, since we only have a single record after the reorg process. One of those records is our object modification.
We run the DB unload with the reorg extension. This physically removes the reorganized records. We can run the regular report without options. We had one object modification. That record was scrubbed with a dash A option, so the report should be empty.